like the fragmented customs it's been a couple of weeks since we've done a youtube update so we thought we'd better come back and give you some information of where we're at so as you can see in the the garage here we've got oscar mounted on a rotisserie um, greg's made the rotisserie out of a, a one that he had from when he redone spew his other car which you've seen in some of the videos so what you can see it helps us maneuver the car and get us into a position where we can remove the floor the car's all braced up so we know we've got no movement issues to worry about so when we take the floor out we can put the new floor in which is on the drive behind I'm sure dodge pans around there you can see we've got the full main floor to go in and also at the rear a full boot floor to go in We have a look at the actual car itself to see why we chose to replace the full floor. So the spit gives us a really good way of showing you guys watching the, the, the filming the issues that we've got on the floor. So because these oversills have been fitted, we've got lots of rot around these seams. We've got rot further down on the other side as well. We've got the channels for the uh, power cable, which are rotten in the middle. And then you've also got the other side of the car where it's been welded previously. So you can see why we've chose to replace the full floor. Um, the boot floor is pretty much a, a similar state of play. You've got lots of rust and corrosion, weak panels, battery boxes rotten corner infill panels are rotten so we've got replacement panels for here we've got a replacement rear valance and this is all the work that Greg's going to move on with this week on the car so by the time you see it next it should have the full new floor in and we can then progress to further around the car onto the back end and making sure we've got a nice structural solid shell Okay, and so the, the front end of the Mini, um, this is probably what you haven't seen since the last video. Uh, we've now got wings on. We've replaced the inner wing on the driver's side because that was completely shot. Um, you'll have seen in the first videos where there was a poor repair um, fully down the centre of that inner wing, so that's all replaced now. We've got the front grille panel on as well. So the front end, barring a little bit of uh, prep work and titivations, um, almost done. We've had to reinstall bits like the um, relay holder, so we took that off because there was some corrosion around it and behind it. Um, the bonnet hinges up in the in the top corners there, and also things like the the cable ties um, we've took off, re-welded and put on correctly. Um, new scuttle panel. Uh, panel. You getting there? New scuttle panel. Top dash rail as well. Top dash rails brand new. Repairs on the. Um, window frames on the air pillar so we've done quite a bit around the full front end of the car to be honest with you um, main original panel is the the top of the bulkhead um, it's had the new one that you can see in at the bottom and that will join to the the new floor panels that you've seen earlier and then across right back to the rear of the car so from a, a front end point of view we're really happy with where it is at the minute we've done some slight custom touches and um, we've deleted out the um, wiper holes for if the car was a, a left hand drive not a right hand drive so instead of having plastic bungs filling those gaps we've welded them up and we'll get them filed down and, and flattened off ready for, for bodywork and paint so the car's coming on quite well and um, we're really again happy with the progress um, probably something to talk about is there's a couple of options when we store in a, a classic mini so we've took the op option to retain as much of the the main uh, the main car body as we can and use repair panels you can actually buy a full new heritage shell from uh, british Leyland, but the cost of a new shell for this one a mark three or is this a three or a four grade um four mark Pink. four i'm right you're talking just shy of £11,000 for a full new shell for this car. So for us it's worth trying to keep as much of the original car as possible. But as you've seen from the front end, we've replaced pretty much everything. 
um, and we're replacing a lot more as we go through the build. So on the, the driver's side of the car, we're just looking at the, the front air post and um, where we've done the repair. So we've repaired from pretty much two thirds of the way down the window. We've got a new air panel on the outside. Your air post is made up of three different panels. So you've got your, your hinge panel, you've got a closing plate on the front and on the back. So this full side of the, the airframe's all been replaced and renewed. And then it ties nicely into the door step as well, which has all been renewed. So that'll tie into the floor. The floor will tie in on the outside and the inside, um, on both sides. And that'll go all the way from the front through to the rear of the car. Okay, so we'll just quickly talk about some investment we've made into Fragmented this week. We've been doing, well, I see a wee, Greg's been doing a lot of welding on the car and what you'll see is a lot of the welding has been done by drilling hole and plug welding through. Um, when you think of the amount of welds it takes to put the car together, it's a considerable amount of time that is a costly to us and costly to the customer with the, with the final product. So we've invested in a spot welder um, for those that haven't seen spot welders before. Um, this is basically how the cars are put together in the factory, all, all be a little bit more automated than what we've got here. So we decided to get one to help with the build of Oscar. One of the things we didn't realize when we bought it, it is 240 volts. Um, but I think Greg, you're more best to see what you've had to do in the garage to allow us to use it. Because it's, uh, it's a high powered unit, it's like having two shower, two electric showers running at one time. So as soon as that you hit the trigger on it, it takes a kick, so you need a, um, a 25 amp supply minimum, and the garage doesn't just didn't have it, so we had to put a, a, a new RCBO in on the mains board and got that uh, an isolation switch down to a 32 amp plug and create a long extension lead basically with uh, big 32 amp connectors just to run it. So another bit more investment, but it's done now. That's it. We're absolutely flying with it. The time it takes to, to do a weld now is just it's just like that. It's a one step yep. process instead of a three step process. It's brilliant. So I think we'll do a, a little demonstration how quick it is. So we've got two bits of Oscar that have been brought in to show how we're going to do it. And basically we're going to weld these two panels together with one spot weld. Um, so I'll hold it. Greg, I'll let you do the zapping. I hope I didn't get zapped here, but let's have a go. That's it. PPE. That's it. Panel welded together. You can see it's it's quite a strong weld. It is as you would get from the factory. I mean, I could snap that off if I really wanted to. Um, but once you've got a few welds in there, run a couple along the edge of the panel. That's a, a nice structural weld that will serve the car for the rest of its life. Okay, well, um, thanks for watching this week. As usual, we'll be back with more content if Greg gets on and does some more work this week. Hopefully me and Dodge might actually do some work and support him. Hi. <laughs> 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 that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> so, yeah, this week's updates, front end on, ready for the floor, we're on the rotisserie. Yeah, we're moving ahead very well. Um, I think we'd have to shout out the Coors Light this week for getting Greg through the weekend, uh, making the, the spit up so we can progress further. Um, if you are enjoying our content, check out our other social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. Um, and please like and subscribe, and we'll see you again on the next one from Fragmented Customs and Restaurant. Thank you. Thanks. We've gone in now on card. <laughs> <laughs>